and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a tutorial on this crazy clown Halloween makeup look. This is the look I created for the event in Copenhagen with NYX Nordics. So it's the same look, it's just different glitters. Uh, and I'm so happy that you liked my look and I really wanted to do a tutorial for you uh, since it was so many of you who asked me to do it. So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. I will use the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm as primer today. And this is for sensitive skin, so it has 0% alcohol in it. And why I'm using this for primer is because it will keep the makeup to stay in place all evening. Then I want to cover up some redness in my face. So I will use the NYX Color Correcting Palette and I will use this green shade. And I usually use my fingers for this part. My skin gets really bad during the winter season, so I have a lot of red spots and when I get very pale, my acne scars uh, is more clear and visible. So I will cover them up. And to cover all these green shades, I'm gonna use a concealer to cover it. And I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna apply it over the green. And then I'm gonna use a damped beauty blender to blend that in. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Pour in This Way foundation in the color vanilla and this is a full cover foundation but I like that especially when I'm going out on a party uh, or Halloween party or anything so I really like this foundation and I will apply it with my damped beauty blender For concealer, I'm gonna use uh, the NARS Radiant Concealer again for highlighting under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose and on my chin. And I'm blending it out using my damp beauty blender. To prevent my concealer from creasing, I will use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to bake under my eyes and around my mouth. And I always use the Beauty Blender to bake as well. So I will take powder on my Beauty Blender like that and I will press it under my eyes. I know I look like a freak right now, but I will swipe the excess powder away and this will lighten the area uh, where I have baked. It will keep the concealer on place and prevent the concealer from creasing. And to set the rest of my face, I will use the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder and I'm using number two porcelain. Porcelain, do you say that in English? It's number two. And I will take a big powder brush to cover big areas in my face. Now it's time to fill in my bra brows. Now it's time to fill in my brows and I will use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Deep Brow Pomade in Granite. Now the brows got a bit dark, but I think that will look really cool with the rest of the makeup. So now I'm gonna bronze up my face and then we will start the Halloween makeup 
kind of. So I'm gonna bronze up my face first. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this brush. It's from Morphe and it's the M402 and it's a big fluffy angled brush. For bronzer, I'm gonna use this shade right here from Makeup Geek and it is Bad Habit. And to get the bronzer nice and blended, I'm gonna go back in with my powder brush and just blend it out a bit. And now I'm gonna try to do some skeleton contouring uh, to chisel out my cheekbones. And I'm gonna go in with the same shade, this Makeup Geek uh, Shadow in Bad Habit. And I will start to carve out the skull um, shape. And I will use the Real Techniques contour brush for this. Instead of contouring under the cheekbones and fade it up, I will start under the cheekbone and blend it down. I hope it makes sense, but I'm gonna try to show you. So now I have done some mapping, I would say. And I think it's time to do the carving of this uh, of the skeleton. I'm gonna use the Meat Matte Trimony Trimony <laughs> palette from the Ball, and I'm gonna use this matte black shade, uh, which is called Matte Amad, to first carve out the hollowness or I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna use the Sigma E62 cut crease brush. I just wing it here. So I will take this angled brush from MAC, it's the 168 brush and as you can see I have already used it for black uh, shadows, it's kind of grey right now. So I will first try to blend it out and see what it looks like and then I will build uh, the shadows up with the black shadow. And my goal is that it will not look like a beer. Beer, beard. They kind of look cool, I think. And I'm gonna draw like this shape as well. I have never tried it, I just winging it. So it may be a big fail but I'm gonna try anyway. I don't know if this is a skeleton or not. It's my kind of skeleton or skull. I don't think it's any right or wrongs when it comes to especially Halloween makeup. I think you can be whatever you want. Okay guys, I think I want to do some shadows up here, so I'm going to use this uh, Makeup Geek shadow in Bad Habit that I used before. I'm going to use a small pencil brush and this is the E30 brush from Sigma. So I'm gonna try to create some highlights. So I'm gonna use this white face paint and this is from a Swedish store, uh, but I think you can get a white face paint anywhere. The first 
thing I did with my eyes uh, was to take this shadow right here uh, called Sandalwood from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. But today I think I'm gonna do a more pink shade pink shade, a more pink look. So I'm gonna dip in this shade right here, which is called Shy. And I'm using a big fluffy blending brush and this is a Morphe M505 brush. And I'm gonna pack it on in my crease. It doesn't matter if it's sloppy. Then I'm gonna take the shade Bossy from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette but with a smaller brush and this is the Morphe M507. So I finished my left eye so you can see the result and if you saw my picture on Instagram I used this shade for glitter but today I felt like I wanted to do a pink kind of a look so I put on uh, these two glitters instead. So this eye is the finished result. So now I'm gonna show you how I did it. And I have also used this bossy shade uh, to deepen it a bit more. Uh, but now I'm gonna dip into this black shade, uh, which is called Black Truffle. And I'm gonna use the same Morphe 505 brush. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and this is the M507 brush and I will pick up some black shadow and pack it on my eyelid and I do the same under my eye. What I love about this look is that you don't have to do it perfectly. It can be a bit messy and I think that will give this look a cool effect if it's not perfect. Then I'm gonna draw these lines and I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I have to have a mirror closer to me. So first I'm gonna drag the line above my eyebrow and then below it and the sides and uh, the last I'm gonna do a upside down triangle under my eye. I'm gonna use the Ico uh, liquid eyeliner in black instead. Before the eyeliner has dried, I will put on the glitter. So I'm gonna use my fingers. And these pressed glitters are from OPV Lashes. And they are balm, I love them. And I'm gonna press it on. And then I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna put it so it lays on my skin and take the glitter away. Then I'm gonna take some black face paint and my Real Techniques Doomed Eyeshadow Brush and I'm gonna pack on some color on the lid uh, and it's gonna be a base for the glitter to stick on. When I have pressed on the glitter, I'm gonna use the Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna put it in my waterline. And then it's time for some lashes and today I'm gonna use the Iris Beauty Fearless Lashes. They are very long, very wispy and I think they are perfect for this look because they are so dramatic. So now my eyes are done and I'm gonna put on some highlights and I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gleam Glow Kit and I'm gonna use the shade Starburst and I will apply it with my Morphe M509 brush. It's a very fluffy brush. 
So it's time to do my nose and I will do a classic uh, skull nose and I will use a regular black liquid eyeliner for, for that. So I'm gonna just wing it as I have done the entire video. To make the nose stay on place the entire evening, I'm gonna set it with a black eyeshadow. Now it's finally time for the mouth and I'm gonna draw the lines as I did with the eyes with a uh, liquid eyeliner and then I'm gonna fill the lips in with a black liquid lipstick. Now it's time to fill my lips in and I use the uh, Lime Crime Velveteen in Black Velvet. And I will connect the lines with the outer corner of my mouth. I hope you understand but I'm gonna show you. And the final touch is to glitter my lips and I'm gonna use the OPV pressed glitters uh, again and I will mix these two pink shades. So guys that was actually it for this crazy clown Halloween tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything out and I will see you in my next video. Bye!